Hello all, welcome to the next session of our class, Digital System Design. So, in the last class we have understood the how to group the logic ones or a logic zeros in an K-map. Okay. To summarize that one, so we have listed here actually. So, first always we need to check if all the entries are ones. So, after the assume that if the equation is given and you have constructed the K-map. Okay. So, assuming that is the mean terms, so that means logic ones you have entered and then how to grouping. So, the groupings will be summarized here actually. So, first we need to check if all the entries are logic ones in a K-map. It may be 3 variable or it may be the 4 variable. 3 variable means actually 8 cells will be grouped, right. And the 4 cell, 4 variable from K-map means 16 cells will be grouped together if all the entries are 1. And then the prime implicate of the function or the, the output of the function will be 1. That is the one. Next, if not actually. If all the entries are not ones and then we need to look for the next higher order group. So, that means for a 3 variable 4 cells group we need to check is there any 4 cells can be grouped. Okay, that we need to check. For a 4 variable function we need to check for the 8 cells group. Okay, that means going to lead to the 1 variable function or a 1 variable prime implicant and for then 4, 4 variable if we make a 8 cells group that is leads to an 1 variable prime implicant will going to be get. The function is completed for the 4 cells or 8 cells then over actually. If any other single logic ones are left there then again we to look for the next higher order. That is next higher order will be for the 2 variable that is the 4 cells ok that means 2 cell group and for a 4 variable function a 4 cells group that need to be look. And that will going to leads to the 2 variable prime implicant or a mean term or a four or a four variable function. So, next higher order will be the four cells group. If you do that one, you will going to get a two variable mean terms will going to get. Like this, this step will should be continued until you should cover the all the logic ones in the group. That is the thing actually. So, that means this process is continued until each one cell in the map is grouped into the at least one group or subgroup. So, that means whatever the one will be the any of the in the K map, we should not leave the logic one. In a grouping the mean terms, we should not leave the any one single cell. We need to group to the one or other to the should be group. So, this is the procedure we need to follow to group uh, to get a simplified equation. So, we need to follow the again some procedure is there. What is that one? Let us see that one actually here. So, when the function is given, when the Boolean function is given, we need to simplify. Then we need to load the mean terms to the K map by placing the logic one in the appropriate cell. So, whatever the summation 0, 1, 2, 3 is given. So, for the cells of the 0, 1, 2, 3, we need to put the logic one. Okay. Next, look for the groups of mean terms. Then we need to be start grouping. Okay. So, what I said in the previous, the same thing should be processed in this point 2. Okay, that means the group size must be power of 2, keep in mind, and then the prime implicants are formed from group of mean terms. So, whichever the adjacent cells that should be group. And in that when a grouping, always we need to find for the largest group first actually. That what higher order group should be need to see. Then we need to evaluate to the progressively we need to evaluate to the next order groups. That is what the we are going to tell. That is what here. Okay, so, that means look for the groups of main terms. First group size must be always in the power of 2. A group size which is non power of 2 that means group size of 3 cells it is are not allowed actually. Okay, keep in mind that one. So, then first we need to find out the largest group first. Okay, then progressively evaluate smaller collections of main terms until all the groups are found. So, that means all the groups should be found out, adjacent to each other, all the ones should be grouped out. Okay. Next, once all the possible prime implicates, all the largest cells are found out, have been identified, and then determine whether the any have an unique in that one, any of the prime implicates are unique. That means, any one of the mean term which is not shared into the another group, and that is called as an essential prime implicant. We need to after the identifying the prime implicates, we need to identify that one in that prime implicant is any having any essential prime implicant is there. That is what we need to identify. And then select all the essential prime implicants 
to derive the simplified equation select all the essential prime implicants and that sometimes that will going to lead to the simplified equation and sometimes only not only the essential prime implicants only not sufficient sometimes we need to add a sum of the uh, prime implicants need to be added okay so that, that is the case they select all the essential prime implicants and a minimal set of remaining prime implicants that cover all the remaining ones in a k map sometimes only essential prime implicants will leads to the simplified equation or sometimes essential prime implicants including with some prime implicants so that all the ones should be covered in a k map that may be leads to the simplified equation or sometimes only prime implicants will be there there is no essential prime implicants also will be there sometimes okay that is depends on the equation is given which equation we are given according to that we will going to get the output or get the simplified equation okay so that is what mean uh, you need to be keep in mind so that is what we should be always carefully need to grouping and we need to find out the prime implicants and the essential prime implicants next more than one equally simplified result is possible when more than one set of prime implicants contain same number of mean terms so that means when a grouping there may be possible of get two types of grouping actually that means a same set of equations can be got so example if you take assuming that i will take an example and three variable function will take where the given function is like that assuming that one i have not written this a b c or just simply keep in mind so in this what are the possible group we can do so these two can be group these two can be group and these two can be group even these two are adjacent even we can group this one also right even these two are adjacent even these two can be group even these two are adjacent and these two can be group so the grouping in an yellow color this may be leads to the one type of the equation simplified equation and a grouping in a white color that is also can leads to a one simplified equation actually both are identical both are logically same more than one equally simplified result is possible okay that is what here actually we will solve the problem related to this kind we are going to understand that one okay so these are the procedures we need to follow to sim get the simplified equation okay or a, to identify the prime implicants and the essential prime implicants in an k map okay so now to understand these concepts in a better way let's take up some problems we will solve some problems then you will identify you will going to understand the how to identify the prime implicants essential prime implicants and to write the simplified equation let's take the problem the problem is list all the prime implicants and essential prime implicants and simplify the following three variable equation so the three variable equation is g equals to f of x comma y comma z equals to summation of 0 2 3 4 5 plus 7 so this is the functions given okay we need to simplify this one first of all we need to identify the list the prime implicates essential prime implicates and then we need to write the simplified equation okay so let's take this problem so from for this one we need to write the first k map so three variable k map so that means eight cells will be there x y z so s can take a 0 1 similarly 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 according to the given equation so 0 will be 1 the second cell will be 1 3 4 5 7 okay so now we need to be so remaining cells will be 0 okay let's group that one so the grouping so this is the one group we can do and this is the one more group and this is the one more group we can do right if you see here actually and these two can also be group okay and this is sorry yeah, these two can be group ones and these two can be group so these two can also be group 
these are the possible grouping that means these are the prime implicants so i will name this as a group 1 okay i will name this as a group 2 and i will name this as a group 3 next i will name this as a group 4 and this is the group 5 and this as a group 6 okay so group 1 of the cells 0 comma 4 and the group 5 group 5 this one of the cells 4 comma 5 and the group 2 5 comma 7 group 6 okay and the group 6 3 comma 7 see group 6 this one 3 and 7 and the group 3 this corresponds to 2 comma 3 fine and the group 4 and this one is corresponds to the 0 comma 2 so problem is what we need to identify the list the prime implicants and essential prime implicants and then we need to write the simplified equations so we have grouped the all the possible groups we have done actually so let's list the prime implicants so prime implicants means all the groups largest groups so if you see all the groups are two groups only so all the group only come that is the prime implicants group are group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 group 6 so we have six groups are there all the six will groups will come actually right so let's write the equation for the corresponding groups or a mean terms for the or x will be corresponding group so for the group 1 so 0 comma 4 so what is the mean term expression so let's we need to write the xyz variable in terms of variable the mean terms okay so in writing the in terms of variables 0 comma 4 so this is the group actually so here 0 1 x so if you see the x 0 1 there is a change over is there so that means we need to left out the x so remaining is what y bar z bar for the group 1 similarly for the group 2 and these two so 5 7 this corresponds to the x and this y I have made change over so remaining is what z x z next for the group 3 and this is the group white color so this corresponds to the 2 comma 3 2 comma 3 that means x equals to x bar for the y z so that is what the z made a change over so that means y will be remaining is y as a 1 so that is x bar y next for the group 4 0 comma 2 so x bar here and for the 0 2 so if you look in this one actually z have made a transition 0 1 so sorry y so the y variable won't be appear here so remaining is what the z bar next it comes to the group 5 so this 4 comma 5 so this leads to the x and this comes to the y bar right because z has made a transition let's change over so z won't appear here and next group 6 that is corresponds to 3 comma 7 right yeah 3 comma 7 this comes to the here x will be 0 1 transition is there so it won't be appear and remaining is what y z okay so these are the prime implicants so that is what the group 1 that is leads to the y bar z bar group 2 x z group 3 x bar y group 4 x bar z bar group 5 x y bar and group 6 and this corresponds to the y z so now let's have the essential prime implicants see these are the prime implicants if you see these are the prime implicants which we should see all the cells are which are will be shared to the any other cells at least see 0 2 is there where 0 2 is appear here and the 0 is appear here actually so this group 4 can't be a essential prime implicant similarly group 1 0 4 is there which is again 0 should be shared here also and the 4 is shared here actually so again this means group 1 is also be can't be any prime implicant if you like if you going to see like this one actually all the groups are will be when all the mean terms will be shared to the 
one or other group. So that means there is no essential prime implicants. So all are prime implicants actually. There is no essential prime implicants. So then let us write the simplified equation. When you are writing the simplified equations, we need to identify that one only the which are not repeated. That what we need to be considered actually. Okay. So that means see if you are writing the group 1, group 2, group 3 that is 0, 4, 5, 7, 2, 3. So if you consider the group 1, group 2 and group 3, so the mean terms will be considered is 0, 4, 5, 7, 2, 3. If you look on to the again group, group 4, group 5, group 6, group 4, group 5 and the group 6, the same thing will be there, 0, 2 and then group 5, 4, 5 and the group 6, 3, 7. If you see both the equations are same, both the mean terms are included in the all these three groups actually. That means writing a simplified equation for the this one or the, this one that will leads to the simplified equation. So that means this equation which leads to the two results, two simplified equations will be get. As per the these procedures we have seen in the last, so we said that there is may possible of a two set of results possible. So, this is an example actually where we will go to get a two set of results we will get actually. So, that means the simplified equation j equals to, so by considering the group 1 and group 2 and group 3, so that means y bar z bar plus x y plus x bar y, this can be the simplified equation or again j can be by including the 4, 5, 6, x bar, y bar, plus sorry, x bar, z bar, x, y bar, plus y, z. The mean terms may be different if you look the expressions, but the both are logically C. So, simplified equation for the given problem can be this one or uh, this one, both are same actually. Okay. So, this is how we need to first we need to make the, all the groups that is are the prime implicants possible. Next we need to find out the essential prime implicants okay. and then we need to write the simplified equation. Let us take one more problem. Okay, the next problem is, so d equals to f of w x y z equals to summation of 5, 7, 8, 9, 13. So, we need to find out, we need to list the prime implicants, essential prime implicants and then we need to write the simplified equation. Okay. First, let us write the k map and here is the x, w x y z that means 4 variable. So, that the k map will be 16 cell k map. W x y z 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 and the cell numbers are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15. So, since the given equation is summation, mean term expression, that means for the values 5, 7, 8, 9, 13, we will going to place a logic 1. So, 5, 7, 8, 9, 13. Okay. So, remaining will be 0. Now, we need to group. So, let us make this the one group. Okay. And then let us make this the one group. Okay. See here, this can be included to the 5, the cell 13 can be included to the 5 also, even we can be included to the even to the 9 also. So, again, this is the one more possible group actually. So, there is the four groups are there. This is the one group, this is the one, again, that means 8, 9 is the one group, 13, 9, then 5, 13, and the 5, 7. So, let us name this one actually. So, group 1 
and this is group 2 and this is group 3 and this one is group 4 ok group 1 of the mean terms 8 comma 9 and the group 2 of the mean terms 9 comma 13 similarly group 3 5 7 and the group 4 5 13 okay so these are the so let's write the mean terms by using it to the variables actually so there is a 8 9 corresponding to the 1 0 here that means w x bar and if you look for the y z 0 0 0 1 so x z has made a transition so remaining variable is what y bar okay next for the group 2 9 13 so this one here x made a transition this x have change over so x will be drop out so remaining is w next if you look for the yz 0 1 that is corresponds to the y bar z next for the group 3 hope you are understanding how to how i am writing this one okay next group 3 so this we need to look for the x wx and yz variables and wx corresponds to 0 1 there is no any other uh, rows are sharing the only one row that means that is equals to w bar x if you look to the column there are two columns are there so 0 1 1 1 so the y has made a change over so that means we need to drop out the y so remaining is z so w bar x z is the another prime implicant or another group next g4 it's corresponds to the 5 13 so this means here x because 0 1 w has made a change over so w will be drop out only x that is equals to 1 so this way we written a x here next 5 13 that is corresponds to the y bar z so this reads the prime implicants prime implicants means all the possible groups that's what so that is what here now all the possible groups are four groups so which one so group 1 group 2 group 3 and the group 4 the corresponding mean terms in variable w x bar y y bar and the group 2 w y bar z group 3 w bar x z and the group 4 a x y bar z now we need to identify the essential prime implicants essential prime implicants means what any one of the mean term will not be not shared with the other grouping so if you see the group 1 okay see here 8 9 is there where 8 won't be appearing in the any other group actually see the cell 8 it is not shared to the any other groups so that means the essential cell that is 8 is the essential cell so the containing 8 is the group 1 so we can say group 1 is an essential prime implicant group so that is group 1 is equals to w x bar y bar so that is an essential prime implicant group similarly if you see 7 which is not shared into the any other actually 9 13 is there 9 over here 13 is there 5 again 5 will be replicated but if you see the 7 cell it is not shared to the any other groups right so that means a 7 is an actually again the 7 this means this group the group is 3 the group 3 is an essential prime implicant group okay so that is the group 3 that is equals to w bar x y is an essential prime implicant so now what is the simplified equation d the simplified equation so as the according to the processor we said processor 4 or step 4 we need to write include the essential prime implicants and if any prime implicants is needed because we should not left out or the any one cell see if i if i read the uh, simplified equation as a w x bar y bar plus w bar x y that means only these troops are included right that means 8 9 included 5 7 included but 13 will be left out but that won't be a simplified equation that is we are not consider that means actually but we should consider always because we should not leave the any one cell also when you are grouping or when you are writing this simplified equation so that means this should be included that means we can include 5 7 
I make a one group that is a G4 can be included into the simplified equation or again there is a one more option even we can include the 913 also right. So, that means again in this function also we have a two simplified equations there are two results will be there the two simplified equations can be right. So, these two should be come essentially we need to write. So, these two and then we can include the G4 or even we can include the G2 ok. So, that will be the simplified equation. So, first I will include the G1 sorry G2 that is WY bar Z or even the result may be essential prime implicates W X bar Y bar plus W bar X Y and then I will include the group 4 that is X Y bar Z. So, these are the possible or these are the simplified equations. Here we will go to get a two possible equations. You do not think that one always will get a two equations. We will get only most of the times we are going to get one simplified equation. So, some cases we will get actually. Whatever the two problems we have taken, we got that one. Let us see the other problem. Then we may be uh, there is no other chance like that. Let us take the problem in that category. Okay. So, hope you have understood this one. Okay. So, summarizing that one actually, so we need to write the logic ones and then we need to make the all the possible groups and then we need to identify that means identifying the prime implicants. So, and then we need to identify the essential prime implicants that means which are unique, the mean terms are unique that is what you are actually. So, 5, 8 and 7 are the unique mean terms that means these two groups cells containing these two will having the essential prime implicant G1 and the G3 that is what we will list out and then we have write the simplified equation ok. So, let us take one more problem. Now, the next problem is this one ok. So, let us write the K map and let us simplify. So, again 4 variables. So, that corresponds to the 16 cell K map we are going to write. Okay, so that is W X sorry W X O Y Z. The W X can be take a 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0. Okay, let us write the cell numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. 10, 11. Now, according to the problem, okay, 0 cell will be 1, 1 cell will be 1, next 4, 5, next 9, 11, 13, 15. So, let us make the group, okay, this is the one possible group we can do, right, and again this is the one possible group we can make, right. So, the four cells group and see this is the second column ok. So, again again we can make this the one group actually. This is the one group we can make right. Now, let us write this is the I will name as a G1 and this is G2 and this I will name as a G3 ok. So, G1 includes the mean terms 0, 1, 4, 5 and similarly G2 will include the 9, 11, 13, 15 where G3 includes 1, 5, 9, 13 right 1, 5, 9, 13 ok. Now, so these are the prime implicants is any other group possible no right actually ok large groups again do not do the two such groups. Okay. So, these are the prime implicants. So, prime implicants are G1, G2 and the G3. Let us write the mean term with variables. Okay. So, G1 corresponds to the C here W x. So, here x has change over. So, only W bar Z, W is 0 that will come here actually that means W bar. If you look for the Y z variable C z has made a change over. So, that is Y bar will get. Similarly, group 2 so the main term for this group 2 is. So, if you look to the here 
W and left click over here actually. So that is WZ. Next, similarly for the group 3. So here the entire column is selected. This means WX won't be appear here because all the such so, so change over is 0, 0, 0, 1 is there 0, 1, 1, 0. All the variables or literals are change over. So, W, X will not be appear here. The remaining is what 0, 1, this corresponds to the Y bar Z. Right. So, these are the cells that corresponds to the W bar Y bar. Next year, W, Z, and next Y bar Z. Okay. Now, we need to identify the essential prime implicants. Okay. See, here 0, 4, the cells are 0, 4 are not sharing to the any other group. See, 0, 4, 1, 5, here 1, 5 is there here actually. And again, if you look over to the here actually, uh, 9, 13, 9, 13 is again, if you here also is there and here also there. But 0, 4 is not shared to anyone. And similarly, in this group 2, 13, sorry, 15 and 11, 15 and 11 are not be there in any other group. So, this means these cells 0, 4 and the 15, 11 are the unique mean terms in the group 1 and the group 2 respectively. So, this means these two group 1, group 2 will be essential prime implicants. Okay. So, thus means so essential prime implicants are that is EPI are group 1 and the group 2 that is y bar z bar w bar z bar y bar and that is w z okay then we need to write the simplified equation right see g1 and g2 are covering the all the logic ones see 0 1 4 5 0 1 0 1 4 5 and similarly 9 11 13 15 9 11 13 15 all these are covered this group 3 is a redundant group actually Right, 1, 5 is 9, 13. These values here, yeah, 1, 5 is here actually, and 9, 13 is here also actually. That means this group 3 is an, just a prime implicant, but it won't be appearing in the simplified equation. The simplified equation containing the EPI will be the answer actually. So that means the simplified equation for the given function k is equal to the w bar y bar plus w z. So this is the simplified equation. I hope you understood in this one actually. Keep in mind only the prime implicants can be a simplified equations, but if it covers all the logic ones, if the prime implicants what we have listed, it is not covering the all the logic ones, then we need to include the whichever the essential, whichever the needed prime implicants, which will cover the remaining group actually remaining mean terms will be covered like that we need to select the which prime implicant will select uh, which prime implicant will be uh, there which is remaining mean terms will be there that one with the essential prime implicants will be the simplified equation okay sometimes we don't maybe have the even the essential prime implicants only all the prime implicants in that the options may be there okay like that so these are the three problems we have done okay so let's solve the some more problems okay to understand in a better way